Hey guys, welcome to the Gunshot with me, John. Today we're going to be looking at this, the Beretta 691 Sport. So the Beretta 690 Sport Scroll. Let's have a look over this. On the back, we'll start with the Beretta adjustable pad system. We all know about that. Move on. We have a technical grade three piece of wood. However, Beretta only call it a grade two and a half, uh, but they only have three grades of wood, two, two and a half, and three. They generally come in this more light honey color. However, I've seen a couple of dark ones come through. The adjustable comb is adjusted through two Allen keys there. And that goes up and then you have the left and right underneath. So the adjustable comb also has all the memory rings and all the good stuff that Beretta give you with their adjustable comb system, whether you decide to use them or not. It is handy to be able to have the memory if you want to set this up for sporting, trap and so on and so forth and use this gun for more than one thing. Moving on, there is a light palm swivel on this gun. Quite a swept back grip and quite a light palm swivel. It's very suitable for larger hands. You have a non-adjustable trigger. You have laser cut checkering. That's a fairly standard for Beretta. And it comes in their oil finish as well. That's probably worth mentioning. The oil finish on this is, is very nice. The safety is automatic. You have a selector on there as well. And instead of their one dot, two dots, they've gone red dot for the one that goes bang, but two dots on either side. That's quite nice. How it ages, who knows? The action. The action comes in this lovely floral semi-acanthus scroll. And actually for a lightly cut engraving, it really is lovely. The way it cuts the light is is really rather pleasant. On the bottom you have 691, and it's donated as a sporter by the fact it has sporting barrels, which is written on there. The forend is a semi-rounded forend with laser cut checkering. It also has the standard 690 perpetual hard opening system, or whatever they want to call it, um, a sprung loaded draw. So this gun will always feel quite tight. The rib, the rib is tapered, goes down to a single white bead sight. The gun comes cased with a full set of five chokes, and it is backboard with elongated forcing cones, as all 690s are. So this gun retails for two and a half thousand. I think it's a really nice mix. It's something I'd happily use for games, something I'd happily use for clays. It's not an ugly looking sporting gun. It's not too dedicated sporter either. I love the way it handles, and I really think actually for that two and a half thousand pound price mark, it's up there. It's really punching amongst the big boys, which for that price point in a Beretta is the first one they've actually managed to do at that price point pretty much since the 682 Gold E. I really like it. I say, for me, it's all about the handling. This gun, having shot it, is such an easy gun to shoot. There's no effort involved in shooting it, and that, for me, is a sign of a, a good gun. So there's two points to wrap up. Again, that it handles really well, and the handling in this gun just makes it shoot very easily. For a gun that weighs in at seven pound 12, it doesn't feel like it does. And secondly, Value for money wise, at two and a half thousand pounds, it's a very good solid action, a nice piece of wood. And Beretta actually have put a bit of effort into finishing this. I really like it. Go and check one out. It's up there in my top five guns for two and a half grand. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Hi guys, welcome to the gun shop.